How's it going, Reinventors? Happy Vlogmas. This is the days leading up to December 25th, and in this video series, I'm gonna be bringing you 25 things to do after you retire. I'm Amelia, this is Reinventing You. This channel is all about inspiring you so that you can reinvent your life. I want you to live a life of joy, fulfillment, and purpose. I normally post twice a week, but in this instance, during Vlogmas, I'll be posting every day. Now, you might say, wait a minute, haven't I already seen this video? Well, I did the same intro in every video for this series, and I'm glad that you are here. I retired early from the ministry after 20 years, but it doesn't matter what age you retire. You are probably looking for what are you going to spend your time doing after you have retired, and I want to help you out through my own experience. I'm glad that you are here. I retired early from the ministry after 20 years, but it doesn't matter what age you retire. You are probably looking for what are you going to spend your time doing after you have retired, and I want to help you out through my own experience. If you are interested, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the bell. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. This video is for Vlogmas Day 25. Happy Christmas. We've done it. The sun's about to set. I've done it. It's day 25. It's Christmas Day. I have a feeling that some of you probably won't <laughs> see this video because you'll have, you'll be busy doing other things. There may be times that you did not see every video in Vlogmas. I remember the first time I did Vlogmas was the first December that I was videoing. It was very difficult to film everything and to watch everything every day. So I'm just saying this right now is that we've made it, we've done it, but there will be a chance if you need to go back and check out some of the things that I suggested. But here's the last thing that I have for you the tw of the 25 things to do in retirement. Find your confident sweet spot, <laughs> which when I wrote it down, I was like, that doesn't make any sense. I was looking at, what did I say about this? But I think that in working in our careers, whether it's 20 years or 40 years, you may have found some confidence in what you were doing. You may have discovered some things that you were really good at doing, you got compliments for, or you got bonuses or promotions for, and all of a sudden you're in a situation where you're not in that same kind of thing. You're not going to get the accolades that you did when you were working your full-time career. Now, you may go into another career or another profession and find that, but it is so important after you retire to find that confident sweet spot, to find out within yourself what you really love and what you do really well. That's why it's important to find your purpose and to have goals and to reinvent yourself because you need to find that sweet spot, that time in you or that attitude you, you need to say, I can do this. I am good doing this. I am capable of doing this. You know, it's like the Superman, Superwoman kind of, you know, put your, um, your, uh, what are these? Put your knuckles on your hips and say, I can do this. Find that confident sweet spot after retirement. And it may not, it's going to take a while, okay? So this is one that you're going to have to work on. But if you work on it every day, work on it by doing some of the things that I suggested, looking at this big list. You know, if you set your goals, if you plan ahead, if you look back in the past, you forgive yourself for mistakes you made, you celebrate your accomplishments, you look ahead to say, here are the things that, you know, my new purpose, I've just rediscovered my purpose, here's what I want to do. If you take care of yourself, if you find that support, get active, get your best sleep, do some downsizing, do what you love, make a little money, and you know, all those things will create a new confident you. You will find your sweet spot when you retire. And if you do a lot of these things that I'm recommending, I think that you're really going to do it. My dog agrees, although she's <laughs> I think she's saying, is it five o'clock yet? Is it time to eat? <laughs> you have got to find your confident sweet spot so that you can live the best life after retirement. This is not the end. This is simply a new journey for you, and I can't wait to hear all about it. 
in the comments below. Let me know if you found your confidence sweet spot. Let me know if you've tried some of the things that I recommend. Let me know if there are other suggestions that you have for folks after retirement. 25 things, we've done them. Thank you for joining me in Vlogmas. I hope your retirement will be wonderful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if this video has been helpful for you, guess what? I want you to give me a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Have a great one.